Hi, this is Nellity Cowan, and I'm coming to you from Ilwaka, Washington at our Coastal Crank Inn. One of the neat classes that we had this year was a tubular edge design that I came up with. A few weeks ago, I went to the Great Canadian Crank Inn, had a great time, and got to visit Koigu. While I was at Koigu, I found this wonderful tropical rainbow yarn that was just screaming poncho at me. So I designed the poncho. The only problem was there were several edges that I wasn't really sure how, what I was going to do with. So I came up with this wonderful tubular edging for the edge of a flat panel piece. This is the neck and this will be the edges. Now I'm not going to say it's not going to curl a little bit. It will, especially on a long shot like this. But on the neck, it is very good. Here is a scarf that one of our people has made after the class. And this is my actual beginning practice at it. So we'll come over to the machine now and I'll show you how it's done. I've already started a few rows. You need to start four needles up. You're going to flip your yarn behind the needles and if you have a slotted carrier like mine make sure it stays in. We're going to go back across like this, pick up four needles, put down four needles. Once again we're going to take our yarn, put it behind the needles and the whole time we're doing this we are in the heel spring. Come back around Put down four, check your latches, pick up four. Now if, if your edge is going to be sewn to something, you don't need to be doing both sides. But if you're like wanting to do a scarf, so before you go, pick up four, put down four. Now I've tried this with two and three and it just doesn't have enough. Five was just a little too much. Four was my magic number down four, up four. And what this is going to look like for you hand knitters is an applied eye cord that we can do at the beginning to make an edge on stockinette if we're knitting. And I'm sure many of you have done that before. So, you get yourself in a little rhythm and it isn't that hard. The only thing is like if you have a slotted yarn carry like mine is to make sure that the yarn stays in. And once you get going it doesn't take that long. I, the edges of my poncho over there have 600 and some rows and it didn't take me much more than an hour to do those back and forth picking and putting needles down. Don't know if she can zoom in here a little bit to see how our edge is turning right in here. So there's a lot of times I've done flat fabric, crocheted around the edge, wasn't happy with that either, wanted to know if there was something I could do that would be just a little faster but would still finish it. And this was truly an answer I guess I could say prayer, but I don't remember if I ever prayed about it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for joining this. And I am on Sock Machine Knitters 2.0. If you've done this or made something with this, please share pictures with the rest of us. Thank you.